today's Saturday. It's 1014 in the morning on a Saturday. I've been up since like 830. Shit. Let me see. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, my alarm went off at 830. Mind you, I don't know why I said it a couple of days ago and I thought about it last night to turn it off. I was like, no, I'm going to get up. So I got up at 8.30, um, put on some clothes, went back to the bank because I have to pay my rent in cash. So, you know, the ATM only give you so much and I don't go inside the bank. So I have to drive over to my credit union, which is by my job. So <laughs> that's on that side. So that's what I did came home for like 30 minutes and I'm on my way to take my mom to the store I think we're gonna go to Winco today we've been there one time since we lived out here Winco is not in our immediate area it's probably like 15 to 20 minutes on a good day from my house my mom's been asking to go but I'm like I don't feel like driving out there but they usually have the best deals, the best, best, the best pricing, and we're trying to go into this new year on a budget. I'm going to see what I can get for $100 today. So, yeah, keep me into that. I mean, keep me to that. Um, yeah, $100 at Winco, so we're going to see what I can get. Basically on the list what my husband requested like we have some ground beef that's been in our, in our refrigerator I don't know if it's still good hopefully it still is because he took it out to cook it a few days ago and didn't so it's been in the refrigerator mind you our refrigerator does get really really cold because I don't know why but it, it's almost like we had to cut it down at one point because our eggs were freezing like Um, yeah, our eggs were freezing, but, yeah, so I'm going to get the $100 out of the bank, um, yeah, see what we can do, there's a lot of people out, <laughs> a lot of people out, My, it was raining last night until this morning, it's no longer raining, it's still cloudy. But there's a lot of people out to be this early on a Saturday. Um, I don't know what's going on because New Year's Eve is tomorrow. People, I don't know what they're getting ready for. Maybe parties, maybe get togethers. I don't know. But it's a lot of people out. It was a lot of people out at like 9 o'clock this morning, 8 30 this morning, whatever it was, 8 45 when I left the house to go to the bank. Like, it's a lot of people. Um, so I don't know what's going on. But my mom should be happy about going to Winco because she's been asking me to take her. So, we're going to Winco. Um, yeah, what else was on the list? Spaghetti stuff. Spaghetti. Um, you know what's so weird? I'm at the ATM, right? At another bank. And there is a guy that's, I don't know, he has um, his car like part where it's blocking, you know, like if you're in a drive through ATM, like he has his car like blocked so no one can like drive around or, but he has the whole damn, he looks like he works here, I don't know, but he's in a regular Sentra car, Nissan Sentra. And he has the ATM open like he's fixing or working on something. And I was just at the same ATM, the one he's working on this morning. But he's in just like plain clothes and regular cars. So I don't know what that's about. But yeah, so I'm going to see. I'm going to try to take y'all into the store today. Hopefully he's not too crowded. I forgot the first is Monday too. So that could be another reason to the store may be crowded. We've been in Winco one time, I think. 
I know it wasn't this year. It had to be 2022, maybe. Maybe the year before that. It's been a long, long time. Because we have Winco in Sacramento, where I'm from. So that's where we used to do a lot of shopping at. Where my mom and my sister used to shop at. But when we got moved to L.A., we didn't know that there was one until... I don't know how long it's been open. I don't think it's been open that many years. I don't know. But we finally Googled and was like, okay, this is like doable to go. It's not like too, too far out. So, yeah. That's on the agenda today. I did start washing clothes yesterday. I needed to wash my whites today. And I do need to get some more detergent. Spaghetti stuff. I'm going to get some bacon and hash browns so they can eat on. Kids are out of school for another week. Um, so, yeah. Um, that. What else? Uh, I'm get some more creamer. I have coffee creamer that I bought from Walgreens. Didn't have a lot of selection. I think I got International Delights. Um, caramel macchiato. This has dairy in it. I usually get silk or dairy free creamer because your girl is lactose intolerant. <laughs> like, which is weird. Like, not all things bother my stomach, but anything really like milk based, really. Like, I wouldn't say all dairy because I can eat yogurt. If I eat too much yogurt, then I can't have a stomach ache. But. Yeah, yogurts usually don't bother me. I eat eggs. But milk usually does it. So. Yeah. But yeah, y'all. So I'll check with y'all once we get there. My face is so fat. Um. Yeah, once I get there. I'm hungry, mind you. I had coffee. I had enough time for coffee, and um, that's it. I haven't ate yet, so I'm hungry. And Donald's line is crazy. I'm really hungry now. I wish I had got a smoothie at Robux, Redbox, whatever it's called. Because it's next door to my bank. But I did not. So I get out of there. Um, so yeah, I'll check with y'all in a little while. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What's that? Oh, I 
Here we go. Three dollars. Make it do. Hey y'all, I'm back in the car. Are they focusing? It's so blurry. I showed you little clips in Waco. It was super packed, but I'm sold. Like I'm gonna drive out here every time to go grocery shopping. I already knew they had good deals from my time in Sacramento, but hands down, like I did a good job. I spent eighty dollars and eighty cent, eighty cent, eighty dollars and eight cent, and um, that's what I budgeted for myself eighty dollars. I originally said a hundred. Then I bought me a breakfast sandwich this morning because I told y'all I haven't ate. So I took out like $9, whatever. So I wanted to stay under $80 or $80 and I did it. So I usually what I do when I'm trying to stay within a budget, I will um, like track everything I'm putting in my basket and like round up. So if it's $2.98, $3, whatever. So I'm rounding up. So I got some good stuff all for $80 so I know once my budget is higher like I'll be able to like this is like Audi is good too but uh, you know obviously Winco is a bigger grocery store so you can get more stuff but baby when I tell y'all I don't know what's wrong with my camera though it just zoomed in um if you have a Winco in your area and you ain't been there before, try it because that, if I would've went to Ralph's, anywhere else, I wouldn't have got not even half of what I got for $80. So I'm definitely gonna show y'all once I get home what I got, um, but I racked it. I did pretty well and I stayed in my budget. So that's always my hardest thing <laughs> it's like <laughs> to go over I I had like a few things on my list very very few things but um as I got in there to see exactly you know some stuff that like Cornish hands I haven't bought that in years they were like they're really really tiny though but they were like 2 98 so I got four of those because Cameron and Case is not gonna eat them so I got four of those um I only get like detergent, like it was like three dollars, like a small thing. I have a little bit left, um, but yeah, so that's enough to last me until next week or whatever. Because I already did majority of the laundry, I need to go home and do some whites, and I know Kalia needs to do laundry, so that's perfectly enough. But yeah, I'm gonna have to show y'all once I get home everything I got for eighty dollars. So I'm in the car waiting for my mom, so I will check y'all once I get to the house. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home. I'm going to show you what I got. This doesn't look like a lot on my dining table, but it's cheaper because what I normally have for that same amount of stuff is usually $100 plus. Dollars. So I may have saved $20 or something, but I don't really get a lot of meat. But let me show you what I got. So this is everything. $80.08. Let me show y'all my receipt. Receipt. $80.08. So, just some plain white bread. Been eating a lot more this week with toast. And then we always keep it on hand for Cameron um, grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, I always keep Pop Tarts, Ritz crackers. And this is something new that I never hauled before. These are Cornish hens. These were $2.98 a piece. So that's something new we haven't had in years. Hash browns. This is the small $3 tie that I got. Texas toast was $1.98. These are like $0.33 cent each. Got six of those in chicken and beef. This is like $4.98 for this Jimmy Dean Applewood bacon. Spaghetti sauce, I mean noodles. Always keep these on hand. Haul these, these were like 48 cents each, I believe. Got four of those in peach and strawberry. Sour cream is a dollar. A bag of apples. I normally get mandarins but or cuties, but decided not to. Um, 
Anna May Juice. Got some sparkling blush for the kids. New Year's Eve. Corn. Two gallons of water. This is like for 30 something for each bag, which is still high. Um, Prego sauce. Some silk almond creamer. Ranch, because they drink it. And some almond milk. So that's everything from Winco. Um, again, it doesn't look like a lot, but for $80, that was a good deal. Like I said, I've hauled before where it was around the same amount of food, but definitely more like $100, $120. So I'm saving some money. But yeah, hopefully you like this haul today. I am going to put this away and do nothing. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one.